Hey guys, Callie from Lashes and Rouge, and like I said, I am going to do a wand, a uh, curling wand tutorial. Uh, this is my curling wand. I got it from TJ Maxx. I actually, this is the second one I got, and I got this one because it's tapered. You can see it's smaller at the top, wider at the bottom. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but this is really smooth, but it's got some nice grip, so I don't feel like it's going to slip out of my hands. Um, I do have it plugged in, but it's not heated up yet, and this, I have found, with curling wands, it heats up very fast. So, because of that, I have my trusty little black glove. Um, this is second day curls for me. So, I have some nice little ringlets in there. Not very many. My hair's gotten long. It's to my waist. Um... But I am going to use the curling uh, curling wand. Like, see this piece? This piece never curls. No matter what I do with curl gel or curling irons or anything, this strand of hair here <laughs> just does not curl. So I'm going to use the curling wand to kind of just touch up my own curls. Um, I do recommend that whatever whatever hand you're going to use for wrapping the hair around the curling wand to wear a glove. Um, this may seem a little bit weak. <laughs> oh yeah, I can do a curling wand, no problem, I won't burn your myself. It's really easy to burn yourself with a curling wand and they get very hot very quick. So if you're doing it by yourself, I highly recommend using a glove. It just means you don't burn yourself or the chance is a lot less. I'm going to go ahead. Turn it on. Like I said, it takes a very short amount of time to heat up, so while I'm waiting, I'm just going to separate my hair. I'm going to use just a regular claw, cl uh, claw clip. Let's see, I didn't get all my hair. I like to start at the bottom and then work my way up. I don't know why I do, I just, it makes the most sense to me and I kind of can see how things look by the time I get to the top about what different things I need to touch up. Okay, so with a curling wand or with a curling iron, you go, you hold it with the hanger, with this down. With a curling wand, you hold it with the cord pointing up and you put the wand down. And what you're going to do, the really cool thing about curling wands is that you can do different strands of different thickness and it kind of creates a really cool multi-dimensional look. Okay, I usually wrap, put this up against the hair and then wrap it like this and I'll hold it and usually twist it up. Didn't hold it for long enough. So probably usually, I usually hold it for about 20 seconds, 20 to 30 seconds. Um, like I said, it gets really, really hot, so just be careful not to burn yourself, your hair, or anything else. Okay, so that is a curling wand curl. It's not as defined as a curling iron curl, like the, a ringlet. This kind of just fits in with the rest of my hair as it is right now. Um, so it just kind of creates a nice even flow to things. Let's see here. And I'm going to do this several times on this side. I am holding it more horizontal than vertical. Um, the reason being I don't really have a whole lot of strength in my shoulders so pulling and holding my hair, my hand up in the air or my arm up in the air is a little bit painful. Now, like I said, I'm not trying to get a whole bunch of uniform uniform curls. That's what's the really cool thing about a curling wand, is that you can kind of create that messy beach look um, instead of really crisp ringlets. Um, and try not, see here you go, try not to unroll the hair, just slide the curling iron out or the wand out kind of just helps preserve the curl. 
and see how close my fingers are I would not want to burn my fingers or burn my fingernail which I have done on a match before it's not fun uh, let's see maybe one more piece here I have a nice bit of curl already from yesterday's styling and I'm using the wand as touch-up The smaller the piece of hair, the more ringlet it's going to look. The bigger, the more wavy. So that's what I said when, that's what I mean when I said that you can really play around with the texture of the curls because you can do different strands or different thicknesses of strands of hair and it's not as, um, it's not as uniform. Like see, look at this one. Quite ringlet -y. All right, do a few more over here. These are a little bit weak. You can also change the direction of how you wrap. You can have it be so the curling, the curl is going away, or just coming towards the hair or towards the face. Sorry, my little guy is going down for a nap and he's currently talking to himself in his crib over the monitor. Okay. So there's some more curls. Like I said, I'm just trying to touch up because I already have awesome curls from yesterday, but have a few strands like this that are a little bit too flat. So this is pretty much all using a wand requires, is to just <laughs> know what direction you want to wrap it around, and then you wrap the hair around, and then that's it. You can wrap it all the way up to the top of the curling wand, or like me, I'm kind of sticking closer towards the end, so I'm getting that smaller circumference or smaller uh, diameter. Uh, it also is easier for me to hold it. <laughs> so for curly hair people, you can just go through your hair and pick out random strands. This is a one inch curling wand. Um, and so the diameter of this barrel kind of matches the diameter of my own curls, which is why I have this size and it's easier for me to kind of, I don't know, create a more multi-dimensional look because I can shake out the curls and everything and yeah, it's just, it's, it's so simple and I'm rambling. <laughs> Pretty much it though with the uh, curling wands. Um, I'm trying to keep it the same on each side so I'm wrapping back instead of forward because uh, that helps give my curls a little bit more um, volume and also it wraps away from my face. Again, like I said, very hot, so use a glove. I think most curling wands will come with a glove. I'm not sure. Um, both of the ones that I've tried have. So, you know, do what you can. But I do definitely recommend using a glove. And that's it. So I just touched up my curls, maybe 
maybe shake them out a little bit. But that's all there is to using a curling wand. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Um, hey, it's hump day. And that means Friday's coming soon. <laughs> I am going to do one last quick thing here. I am going to spritz my hair with um, this beach spray or waving spray as uh, this company got to be has or calls it. Get some of the frizz down on top. I'll scrunch it up a little bit. Scrunch it up, smooth down frizz. And there you have it. All right, have a great day. Um, as always, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out the blog at lashesandrouge.wordpress.com. Uh, find me on Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Just look up Lashes and Rouge and you'll find me. Um, especially check me out on Pinterest. I have, <laughs> I have over 8,000 pins now. In fact, I probably have close to 9,000. So, you know, I'm busy on there. Um, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and hope to hear from you guys about what your favorite techniques are for using a curling wand. Have a great day, bye, guys. Bye.